Hello everybody, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to pair a Pebble Time with an Android device. I have a Motorola Razr HD here and this is the Pebble Time. Now there's some things to tell you first. A very nice watch. It has a curved design so that it fits nicely and comfortable on your wrist. It's definitely more comfortable than the Apple watch that I own. Now there's some buttons here. There's one button on the left here. That is your go back button. And it also acts as the power button. So if you press and hold here, you will power up your Pebble Time. On the right, you have three buttons here. The middle one is the select button, and then there's an up and down button here. There's also a microphone opening there. Now the Pebble Time is waterproof, and that's a great advantage. You're gonna see my full review and a comparison video to the Apple Watch coming soon. So let's pair this thing up. So, the one thing bad about having just buttons to use, if you're a hairy guy like me and you have to reach down and push the buttons, you tend to pull your hair a lot. But the trade-off is that if you're wearing gloves in the wintertime, you have buttons to push and you don't have to worry about tap screen. Uh, this Pebble Time does not have a touch screen or force touch or anything like that. The other thing I notice is that the display is not as bright as the Apple Watch. Uh, we'll do a full comparison. I just want to let you know that sometimes it's hard to see the screen, like in a dark room. Outside in the sun, you could see just fine. Now there is a backlight to it, and you could even set it with motion so that when you turn your wrist uh, pretty, you know, it's not as sensitive, but when you turn your wrist, it will turn on and, and backlight. Right now it's not paired, so we won't have a, a great backlight, but you'll see once we pair, you, it gets a little bit brighter than this. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the uh, Google Play Store. Now they have a separate app completely for the Pebble Time, different than the one that they had for the original Pebble. But basically you're going to download this Pebble Time app. I have it here down in my shortcuts. And before we open the app, uh, what you want to do is you want to go into Bluetooth. So we're going to go into Bluetooth. Now this is important because I made a video last year because a lot of people were having trouble, uh, you know, pairing their their device, and then when they walk away, they have a trouble reconnecting uh, with Bluetooth. So we're going to turn Bluetooth on. We'll do that right now. And what you're going to see, there's two Bluetooths that you have to connect to. Believe it or not, there's the original, the orig you know, the uh, Bluetooth that you click here, and that will be so that you can get all of your notifications and everything syncs up with the Pebble Time. There's also a Pebble Time LE, and that's basically for like controlling your phone uh, from the watch, like with play controls, you know, music controls, things like that. And uh, I'm not quite certain exactly which one does what, but we definitely want to pair both of these uh, Bluetooth. So we're going to hit this. We're not even going to start an app. You could go through the app process, but I like to always pair it right from the uh, from the uh, the phone's Bluetooth settings. So here it has a check mark. We're going to hit check mark and then it's going to tell you to look at the phone and hit pair. So we're going to pair, we pair it up right to our Pebble Time. And now let's pair up to the LE. So we're going to hit that and we're going to click that and it's going to pop up and, and say that we're connecting. So now it's paired up to both actually, uh, the LE and the regular Bluetooth. So with that out of the way, we can now go back into the app. This is the best way to do it. Uh, in case there's any problems with uh, connectivity, that's the best way to do it. So now we're gonna go to the Pebble Time app. And it says, I have a Pebble Time, or you can buy a Pebble Time or whatever. Uh, June 22nd, they're gonna be taking pre-orders for non-backers of the Kickstarter campaign. So I definitely recommend to be sitting by your computer. If you really like this watch like I do, you, you're gonna wanna do that. So I have a Pebble Time. And we're going to click that. Now, iOS does not have an app yet. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can bug Apple uh, through email, Facebook, and Twitter to say, hey, hurry up, expedite the um, you know the app process. Uh, we want our iOS Pebble Time app so we can get it connected. So it's going to tell us to connect into our account. Now, I have an account from the old Pebble that I bought in Best Buy. Uh, by the way, this is not a champion uh, Pebble Time. This is just a Kickstarter backer. Uh, I wish I would have originally bought it through uh, Kickstarter, the original Pebble. So we're going to connect it to my account now. So usually it's an email and we're going to sign right in to our Pebble Time 
app. Now, all the original apps are available for the Pebble Time. They may be in black and white, but as it goes along, the developers with their SDK are going to go and start making these things into color uh, to take advantage of all the beautiful colors that you get. Okay, so I signed into my account and you're going to hit sign in. Now, if you don't have an account, you can always create an account uh, if it's your first time using a Pebble. So it's now saying that we're going to set up our voice language. Now you can click here and you can change your voice language. It comes in multiple languages, but I'm going to keep it on English United States. So take a look at the watch. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click here and it's going to connect. Uh, even though we're already connected, it's going to say connect. And it's updating the software. Now you're going to see on the watch, it's going to have this little circle that shows up right there. And it's going to go from zero to 100%. We'll come back as soon as that's done. Now this update is mandatory, so you always have to update this. It's good to be in a Wi-Fi area uh, so that you get this done faster. But it's not, it doesn't take that long, so let's wait for it. Okay, we're at 98%, and now it's gonna say reconnecting, and the Pebble Time will restart itself. Just like you see there. And now we're brought to the settings screen of the Pebble Time. And it's going to reconnect to our, our device here. So we'll hit continue. And it says open settings screen. Uh, to get notifications to work, you need to enable Pebble system settings by tapping on the button below. So we'll hit that button there. And we're going to open up system setting. Now for notifications, you're going to want to click this button here. And you're going to want to uh, be able to read all your notifications on the system. Uh, it's all there, hit OK. And now we have our Pebble Time there. So we're good and we're golden. So now we're gonna go back to the um, app itself. What we have here is our TikTok watch face and that you see it here on the uh, Pebble Time itself. Now, it's a little hard to see the screen believe it or not uh but there is a settings in there there is no settings in there actually that you can actually increase the brightness of this display so it says choose a watch face we're gonna uh choose any one of these and we'll just put it right on the device so we'll use this one since you could see it better and then you'll see it restart every time you install something so there's our default uh one and we're ready to go. Now let me just tell you a little bit about the app so that we can move on. So we are gonna to go to the next part and it says you're all done. Now, if you go to click the My Pebble tab here, you're gonna see the, just like the original app, My Pebble, that will show you all the apps that you have installed, notifications you can pick, uh, whether you want third party notifications and all that good stuff. Um, there are some voice responses that you can set up ahead of time. Uh, you could say, you know, I'll call you back or whatever. Um, as far as, you know, talking into the watch and saying, I'll call you back or remind me to do this, the, that's all app dependent. There's nothing uh, that comes shipped uh, that you can actually use right away to start using your voice with the included microphone. So that's going to be all app independent. Um, Maybe there's a way, I don't know, uh, but you know, they give a little bit of, of um, actionable notification setup. Uh, it tells you a little bit more about it, brings you to a web page. So we're gonna get SMS income calls, we'll get all that good stuff from Google mostly. Uh, iOS, uh, they're working on notifications uh, to get them to work better with the Pebble Time. And uh, we'll see that in the up and coming months and, uh, and, and all. So we'll go back to notification, uh, back to the main screen here. And you can get watch faces and you can get apps. There's a bunch of apps that are made just for this Pebble Time uh, because they're in color. Um, but there are also a lot of apps that are still black and white. You can use them on the watch, uh, any up to more than 3,000 apps. Uh, they break them up in categories and all that stuff. 
but I'll let you investigate that a little bit more. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Uh, just let me know in the comments. And um, then the other thing is down here, you have settings, and that's pretty much to control your music. So if you want to use uh, the music uh, in settings, I I'll show you this in a second. But when you want, if you want to use it, you can use it with a particular app and all that stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. And voice settings, I have it set on English, auto update when you're on Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. You can even have developer connection. Um, Bluetooth, let's just click that for a second. And you can see that I'm paired to those two Bluetooths, even though it asked me again to do it in the app. It's always nice to do it ahead of time. Okay, so now we got the device out of the way. We're ready. Uh, you could throw your apps on there, you throw some watch faces. It's unlimited watch faces, not like the old Pebble where you only had up to seven or eight. You can install a bunch of apps. Everything works off your phone. Now you have to stay connected Bluetooth uh, all the time. You have to be within range, uh, but there's a lot of great apps out there. I love the fact that this is waterproof because we could take it swimming and all that stuff, not wear it for days and on end without worrying about charging. You got some sleep apps, all that good stuff, but we'll get more into that into a different video. So there we have it. We have our Pebble Time connected right to our phone. Now, let me show you a little bit about the buttons here on the Pebble Time. So when you have your Pebble Time, you have your watch face here. If you press this button in the middle, you're going to go right into settings. Now, this is music control so that you can control music uh, on whatever app that you have opened up in your on your phone. So if you click that, um, it will tell you that you can play whatever is open in the background there. Uh, you can also press it again and you've raised the volume and, and control the volume and all that stuff. We'll hit the go back button. And now in this screen, this is the app screen, uh, but I'll show you the timeline screen in a second. So here's the app screen. Now, if you could go up and down, you're going to see a notification. Now these are all system apps. Uh, there's nothing special uh, loaded on here. Uh, this is what, the manufacturer puts right on here. So you got notifications and you'll see there's no notifications. We'll hit go back and we'll go up here. It says um, alarms. You could set alarms from here and they'll buzz on your wrist. And that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go down and it says here watch faces. So you could switch out your watch faces at any time without the app. And then let's go back up. So watch faces, alarms, notifications, um, music, and we have settings. So we'll hit settings here and you could change it. Change. You could see what Bluetooth you're connecting. You can put it on airplane mode. Uh, notifications, uh, that's just to check your notifications. Uh, but there is a setting so you can set it to, you know, do not disturb and, and turn the vibrate on and off. Let's hit the go back button. So activity, that will also, uh, any app that you install that has activity, even like watch faces that have activity to show your steps, you can turn that on and off. Uh, quick launch. Now, quick launch, how that works is if you click on the up button or the down button, you could choose, if you, you press and hold the up button, you could choose what app opens up. If you press and hold the down button, you could choose what app opens up, which is pretty cool. Let's set one up right now. So we'll, we're going to click right here and it says, um, what do you want to open up? Now, these are system apps, but there's also other apps that you can install to do quick. Uh, but if you wanted to jump right to the alarm, let's just do that. We'll click here. So it says long press up. So on the up button, let's go back into the home screen right there. And if we press and hold the up, boom, goes right to alarms. So you could set that up and that's a nice process too. So let's go and back into settings or into apps, I should say. And we'll go back up to settings and I'll show you a couple more settings. So we can do that quick launch. That's nice. Date and time, you could change the date and time, which uh, I don't know if it automatically changes with your phone. Uh, you have display, and here's where you can set up for the backlight to always be on to, or to have motion so that if you flick your wrist, it will turn on. It's not as sensitive as you would want it to be. Uh, you kind of have to like be rough about the turn. Um, and then, you know, that's the motion there. And then you can have the backlight on the auto and all that stuff. So that's display. And then if you go into system, you'll see that you can go get information. You could do a shutdown. You could do a factory reset. 
there's also a method for rebooting your pebble time if you ever need to. If you press and hold the two up button, the up button and the select button and the back go back button at the same time, it will reboot uh, the pebble time. So that's good to know. So now let me just talk to you about timeline and how things work with the app. So if you press this middle button, that gets jumps you into your app draw. Let's call it an app draw. And any apps that you install will be in this app draw. And you just simply go through them and you know you go and you know you you select into them and you get into the app itself. But if you're in the home screen and you just want to look at your timeline, here it is. The timeline is here. So if you press the up button, it will show you uh, we'll start out with now and then you can go up and see your old uh, events in your calendars, reminders, things like that. If you press the down button, uh, you will get future events and you could see tomorrow. And this uh, has some great animations. I, I love the Pebble Time with its animations. It is super cool. Uh, I love it. Even like when you dismiss something. You'll see it run through a shredder and all that stuff. That's awesome. So let's say uh, if you if you want to get into a notification and you want to jump into it, you can jump right into that and you can get a little bit more information by scrolling down. Uh, I think it's cool. Um, we can click here and you can actually remove them uh, or you can mute and, and dismiss and things like that. So uh, I don't have any reminders on here or SMS or or anything like that. But when the calls come through and the SMSs come through and the reminders are set, they all show up here in your timeline. So basically, that's it. Uh, we're, we're, this watch is very simple. It's a great idea that Pebble put in the timeline so that you get the information that you need uh, right on the up and down. And then you have apps that you can jump deeper into. Uh, I think it's great. There's plenty to investigate. It's a tech lover's dream to have uh, the Pebble time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.